Good afternoon, Pisces. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing good. Welcome aboard the Cosmic Chariot. I hope I'm going to be your tarot reader today. My name is Tyler. How are you guys doing? All right, so today we are going to be doing a general reading for the second half of August. All right, so with that being said, not all messages will resonate. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising Sign. Alright, so let's get right into the reading. So, Pisces, for your overall energies, you got the Nine of Swords reversed, the Page of Pentacles reversed, and you got the Four... Right? That's, yeah, the four cups reversed. So, overall, it seems you're not stressing over any, not stressing over anything. It could be a job that you're not stressing over or like a job opportunity. Maybe you know that you can get this job, and if you don't, you have other options. Uh, that could be uh, it. Or this is like a person, maybe like this uh, someone. You're not stressing over a person and because you have other options that you can choose from if they don't accept your offer or if they don't accept you as their person. Yeah. Either way, whatever is your story, that's your story. All right. So we got the world's card reversed. The king of pentacles and the upright. You got the Cosmic Chariot, or the Chariot, um, in reverse. You got the Fool card. You got the Seven of Wands in the upright. And you got the Empress card. Alright, so. Um, when it comes to cycles, uh, your, your ending cycles that have um that keep repeating in your life you know like cycles um you could have uh past lives with this person and or you just in this lifetime you guys just keep getting together and it doesn't work out and now finally you are closing the uh, you're cutting the cord and you're not doing you're not repeating it your cycle you know, you want a fresh start. You're you want you'd rather be foolish than to jump back into something that you know doesn't work. It could be with this King of Pentacles. Um and yeah, you don't want to move forward with towards this King of Pentacles. You'd rather um move towards it an Empress. But even the Empress is in reverse, so she doesn't feel like um very feminine or she doesn't feel like herself. At this moment in time. Um, but someone's preparing. Someone's preparing for someone to come back into their life. And yeah. So. What's Pisces got to know? Alright. So there will be a new start. For some of you. Not for everyone. But for some of you. you uh, this. King of Pentacles is going to take action towards you and start something new. Um, for others, there's going, there's not going to be a new start, and you are, you are already not waiting for this person to come towards you. You are just doing your own thing because you'd rather be done with the situation. All right. Um. Let's pull some angel cards. Let's pull some angel cards for you guys. Angel cards for Pisces. What does what do the angels have to say for Pisces? Whoa. I guess they don't want me to shuffle. <laughs> Alright, so I guess you guys are whoa, 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 whoa. That's not how the cards go. It goes like that. <laughs> Alright. 
So, for your first two cards, you got Angel of Vision. Someone is not revealing part of the story. Trust your feelings over what others say. All right? So maybe it's this King of Pe King of Pentacles is not telling you the whole truth. They're just telling you part of the truth. Maybe they are in a relationship with someone else, even though I don't see the Three of Swords here or any or juggling or anything. So this could be just like, uh, the reason why they broke up with you, they're not telling you everything. They're just telling you a few things about what happened in the past. All right. Angel of relaxation. Let go of desired outcomes and you will get what you want. Yeah. So once you let go of the situation, you are going to be able to manifest everything in your power. All right. Like, everything that you want to happen, you're going to be able to, like, manifest that into your life. Goddess of, of, of the sacred path. Let go of logic and trust your intuition. Yeah, so you, you really got to rely on your intuition uh, during the month, the second half of August. Uh, because it's going to really help you out. And it's funny, all these cards have a ton of blue in there in the cards so it that's definitely like another signifier for a third eye because this uh the third eye is blue when you color coordinate it um but yeah it's blue it your your third eye is going to be beaming trust your intuition because and if you have psychic abilities they're going to be in they're going to be heightened this month all right so, if you do readings, I would suggest listen to your intuition on everything. Even if it sounds, like, very silly, listen to your intuition. All right. So, one more shuffle for the Moonology deck. One more shuffle for Pisces. You and your loved ones are safe. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Taurus, Capricorn, Leo. Oh, look, your dream, your dreams need a practical plan, Taurus. So yeah, you could be dealing with a Taurus. Um, but when it comes to your dreams, you need to really make a plan on what you want to do with these dreams. Okay, I guess you guys are getting too more cards so yeah there could be a fire sign don't let pride get in your way and then you got bring love into the situation aquarius so for some of you you could be dealing with um a taurus aquarius cancer and leo but that's not going to be for everyone it could be just a few of those cards, like zodiac signs, or it could just be um, something in their chart that they really like embrace. I don't know. It's up to you. Also, there is a bird on this card, and everything in these cards are like third eye. Like all their like third eyes are like bright open. So your uh, third eye is definitely going to be open this uh for the second half of this month i'm sorry i keep I, I don't think like people are understanding how um opened your third eye is going to be this month all right so let's uh pull some chakra cards for you guys some chakra cards chakra 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 All right, so one more shuffle for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising Sun. Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising Sun. I know I normally do like four videos a day, but I've been so drained recently that like I've only done, I've only been doing like two videos a day. What did I say? Third Eye. 
dreams. Pay attention to your dreams. Really pay attention to your dreams and make your dreams come true with a practical plan. All right? Angel numbers. Yes, you are starting to master your third eye. You're you're going to be mastering how to, you're going to understand how to listen to your intuition and what you really need to do. Relationships. Wow. Spirit is just like helping me on point right now. Like every, all the cards are just in sync. Relationships. You are going to Whoever is getting into a, a relationship, they are going to need, it's going to take time and you're going to need to bring love into the situation, all right? Don't let your pride get in the way and really have a practical plan before jumping into things, all right? Really make sure it's going to go somewhere and like bring love into the situation, all right? You know, you may want to, like, I don't know, be playful. Um, and, yeah. All right, so that's going to be your messages for today, Pisces. I hope you guys resonate with this video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And namaste.